Hi and welcome to the Demalak Cookery Channel. So today I'm making garlic sausage. Right, so first thing, this isn't a traditional sausage in the fact that it has a casing on the outside. This is more of a sandwich meat. So we stopped buying processed sandwich meat from the supermarket a number of years ago, but it is nice to have that kind of meat for sandwiches or to fry for breakfast, for example. So we started making our own about three or four years ago. Absolutely delicious, obviously a lot healthier than the shop purchased processed meats. Never going to be the healthiest food on the planet, but definitely healthier than the stuff that you buy in the shops because you know exactly what's going into it. This particular recipe for garlic sausage is absolutely delicious and really easy to do. As usual, a full list of ingredients will be given at the end of the video, so let's have a look at those ingredients now and anything else we're going to need for today. So the ingredients for today's recipe, I've got 500 grams of lean pork mince or ground pork, one medium chicken fillet, so this is about 200 to 220 grams of chicken fillet and I'm going to be cutting that into small cubes before we actually mix all of these ingredients together. Three teaspoons of minced garlic one tablespoon of corn flour mixed with a little water, a little cold water. So this is going to be our emulsifier or bonding agent for the, um, for the recipe. One teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of black pepper. So the first step for this is to mix everything in a large bowl. So I've got the um, ground pork or pork mince in there. Add in our chicken, our salt, pepper, the corn flour mix, And our three teaspoons of minced garlic. And then just make sure that that's mixed in thoroughly. So as well as the flavour of the finished cooked meat, what is really, really important is the texture. And we want to replicate as near as possible the texture of commercially purchased processed meat and the way to do that is to almost get the meat to a or the meat mixture to a puree stage so I'm using a food processor with a blade attached I'm going to be placing this meat mixture into the food processor and blend it until we get to almost like a food uh, a meat puree if you haven't got a food processor but you do own a electric hand blender you can do the same thing with the hand blender in batches Okay, so just a point on the um, food processor, you want to get the meat to a stage where it stops going round the centre of the blade in a large ball and starts to get thrown out to the sides as this is. Once it gets to that stage, and this has taken about two minutes on high speed to get to that, so once the meat starts to get thrown out to the sides of the bowl, you know that it's done then, I'll move on to the second batch. So the next step is to shape the meat. So I've got a, a chopping board with some cling film or food wrap over the top. Just going to use a little bit of olive oil on the cling film as well as on my hands just to make it easier to handle this meat mixture. 
So we take our mixture and all we want to do is we're just going to create a cylindrical shape and just try and compact this shape as much as possible, get rid of any air pockets in between. Okay. So once we've got a shape that we're happy with, wrap the meat as tightly as possible. We can roll the meat then once it's all encased in this food wrap to make the shape better. So we're just turning the ends over almost like a Christmas cracker. Hopefully get it as tight as we can. Fold those in and then the next thing we want to do is I'm just going to put another piece of food wrap around the outside and again try and get that as tight as possible and then once we do that we can then roll the meat into the shape that we want. So I've got this now a fairly decent shape again with that added cling film or food wrap around um, the outside. For a bit of added security just going to use some foil as well Again, wrap that over, use this like Christmas cracker style effect and turn those ends up like that because this is now going to sit in simmering water to cook and this foil will make it a lot easier to pick the meat parcel out of the, the water at the end. So the next step, I've got a large pan with some simmering water in there Make sure there's enough water in the pan to cover the uh, meat package completely during the cooking. So I'll lower the package into the pan. This is where these kitchen foil tabs come in really handy. And I'm going to cook this on a low heat, a low, so just a gentle simmer for about an hour and 15 minutes with the lid on. So there you go, my version of garlic sausage, absolutely delicious as a sandwich meat or cut thickly and fried for breakfast or evening meal. A lot healthier as I said at the start of the video than processed meat that you buy from the supermarket and it's absolutely delicious. Please subscribe to the channel and as usual if you've enjoyed this particular video hit the like button. Your support has been absolutely amazing. And the channel has just gone through its 2 million views. Absolutely awesome. Thank you very much.